Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I'm going to be planning next week, which is March 6th to the 12th. And I've decided to use this kit, which is called A Scandalous Affair. This is one of the Hobonichi Cousin weekly kits that I have in my shop. And in the shop, you're able to choose between transparent mat and white mat. I have it here in the white mat because that's what I prefer. Um, I do also need to pull out some date numbers. So I finished one sheet last week. So we're going to go into a new sheet. And again, this is available for my shop in both white mat and transparent mat. So let's get started with popping these date numbers down. So how are you guys doing? Um, I think I'm able to announce today that I'm going to be taking part in the next Pink Planner sale, which is very exciting. Um, I have participated in this collab sale before. Um, I think this will be like my third time participating, um, but my shop will be 20% off in this sale. And the sale is not gonna be happening until April. So um, I'm gonna be releasing some new collections in the shop so that you guys will have a bunch of new things to shop. And one of the things that I'm going to include in the 20% off sale are the sticker release albums. Um, so this week I am going to be making them and I will do like a whole video on them in one of the new releases so you guys can see the new designs and um, I'll talk more about what you can add on to your albums. So I think it'll be a really fun sale and I'm really excited about the new reusable sticker albums. Um, I haven't done any of these yet for the shop so it's a very exciting thing for me to bring to the shop. Um, I think a lot of you guys will like it because um, I have had requests for these a lot. So they are finally here and I can't wait to share them with you. The Pink Planner sale is definitely one of my favorite collab sales to do. Um, I try to do as many as I can in a year. Um, I think last year I did four. I haven't done one yet this year. This is going to be my first one. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, the collab sales are usually really, really fun for me to do, so I will be doing some tiered freebies as always. And then um, for the first 20 orders, I'm gonna also do some swaps. Then you'll also be eligible to receive one of those grab bags from the other shops. So I have just added the full boxes and then I'm gonna be working on my sidebar now. I'm gonna be adding my trackers, which have been so helpful. This is the only form of track that I'm doing at the moment. Um, in the past, I used to use an insert for my shop that has like the trackers all in one, but I just find it hard to keep up with if I don't have that planner with me. So with this, I'm able to kind of keep it really focused. And then this will be my focus of the week. So for this week, I'm going to be focusing on reading and then also self-care. I've been slacking on both recently, so would love to get back on track with that. And then here at the bottom, this is where I've been tracking my meals. So that has been kind of helpful. Sometimes I kind of fall off the bandwagon like here. But so far, it's been nice to keep track of that. So we'll go um, day by day. I'm going to start with the sidebar and I will be working on my book. So I'm still working on the third draft. I'm hoping to be able to finish it soon. I recently changed the name of it. So um, yeah, I'm making quite a lot of 
um, rewrites and edits to it. And then, like I have already mentioned, I am going to be working on the reusable sticker books. So my sticker books will also have like a holographic overlay to them just to add that extra protection. So um, if you guys are using it every single day, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty or scratched up or ruined or things like that. I also want to design a new collection. So I will mark that here. So starting on Monday, so I have quite a few things to mark down, starting with a renewal. So I'm just going to mark that first thing with one of the larger boxes. Um, and then I do need to do new releases in the shop. So I will write new releases and I'm going to be sending out a newsletter for that. Um, this is also the day that I ship out orders. So I'm going to be heading to the post office in the afternoon. So I'm just using all the boxes. here to mark all those things because those take up the most time. I have this little circle that comes with the kit and I'm going to be using that to mark down shopping. So that will be after that and then um, since I will be writing I think I should use a box for that too. So I'll just leave that box there and I will write in my word count. That's how I've been keeping track of that. Let's move on to Tuesday. I actually have two work events on this day. So I have a sale for Origin and Sweetest Sin. So if you guys are interested in checking out my books, they are available on Amazon and they're actually free on Kindle Unlimited. And then also I will be doing another renewal. So I have marked that in the same box. I'm going to be using one of these scallop corners to also mark in filming. And then I also need to mark in promo. So I think I'll just um, mark that in here. I do have my little sticker album here, which I'm going to be grabbing one of the laptops. I'm going to go with the pink one. These are the bow icons from my shop. So I have the laptop and I will just be adding that there to remind me to do the promotion. I'm going to be adding a little checklist on the Wednesday here. So let's add one of the headers. And then in the morning, I am going to mark down writing and then also editing. So for writing, let's see, should I use yellow? So we'll do writing in the morning and then editing after that. And actually, I do need to mark down writing here at the bottom too. And then in this little checklist, I am going to be marking down all the things that I want to design. So rise and shine, letters to Juliet, and new beginnings. So three new collections that I'll be hopefully getting done this week. Um, and then on Thursday, let's mark writing. And then also I need to design. So let's use one of these scallops to help me mark that down. Friday, I don't really have anything planned other than um, just working on my book. So let's use a larger box for that. I'm probably gonna also have new releases. So let's mark down that on Friday as well. And then another box. Let's go with a little yellow. I really love how soft the colors of this kit are. Very perfect for spring and summer. Yeah, so this one I will just be writing my word count once again. Saturday we'll be filming and editing. So I'm going to use another little flag for that. For editing, let's see, what can I use? 
Should I use a scallop? So I'll write film here and then edit on this one. And then Sunday will be devoted to making sure I have packed all orders and then also have gotten all the new releases ready for next week. So that is it, I think, in terms of everything that I have planned. As you guys can see, you still get quite a bit left over in the kit. And um, I think I might do a plan with me in my A6 Hobonichi, showing you how I can use these leftovers in there. So let me know if that is something that you would be interested in. But this is my setup for next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. If you guys have any video requests, you can also leave them down below. And once again, this kit, uh, Scandalous Affair, is available in my shop. You guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!